All right. Well, first, Amity, since you, your aunt knew Jack, I thought I'd get a little background on Jack here. Jack, where did you go to school? How did you get started in this barbecue <laughs> business? What's the chain of events? All righty. So I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Dallas and went to Texas A&M and was an engineer. And I came out to Seattle actually on a job with Boeing as a computer guy. Were you? And I traveled a bit and I worked at Microsoft for about 13 years. And then five summers ago, I heard about a thing at Texas A&M. It was barbecue summer camp. So I went to barbecue <laughs> summer camp in the meat sciences department of Texas A&M four years ago. And I got all inspired and I came back and I started doing uh, a series of barbecue raves called Seattle Brisket Experience. It just kind of blew up. Wow. All of a sudden, you know, Sir Mix-a-Lot's tweeting me and <laughs> Tom Douglas is my buddy and everything. So I, I opened this restaurant. So that's how it all came to be. And now the, uh, but that's a, you know, it is amazing that Jack, hey, I'm going to barbecue camp and now bam, I got this great barbecue joint. We're gonna learn about his chicken rub. And uh, Jack, tell us why do we do what, What's the purpose of this rub here? Right, so most rubs for Central Texas style barbecue are very simple. Like for the brisket and our pork, or brisket and the other beef, we just do salt and pepper. It's all it takes, because mm -hmm. it's such a beautiful cut of meat. For pork and chicken, we add a little paprika and a little brown sugar to give it a little more flavor. But it's mostly about the meat here. We're not about the sauce. We don't, we're dry rub only. We don't bury mm -hmm. it in the sauce. We serve sauce on the side. I like sauce, but it always has a condiment, not as the main course. Main course should be the meat. It should be delicious all by itself. And so with this chicken, what, what are we putting on the chicken here? Okay, so at Barbecue Summer Camp in the Meat Sciences Department of Texas A&M, <laughs> my alma mater, uh, the poultry scientist showed us a trick for doing chicken that keeps it super moist. And the trick is mayonnaise. So you take a piece of chicken and you put a little spice on it. Is that paprika? And then you just grab some mayonnaise. And kids are going to love doing this because it's goopy and fun like you're painting with, with paint, just get it all over your fingers and just grease it up. No way. And this keeps it moist. It keeps it super duper moist. And that's paprika we're putting on it? We're putting on our spice blend, which is salt and pepper, a little brown sugar, a little mm. paprika, and a little magic. And that's it. You put that in the smoker or you put it on your grill and you go ahead and cook it and it'll come out, it'll have a super juiciness to it. Hey, and Doug. We, we saw some that, uh, this here is the finished product inside that you can't see because he's got his gloves on, but uh, we nope. got a chicken. Here we go. So here's, it keeps tender and moist, you guys. Oh, that's uh, perfect. Yep. Hey, does he use, like, it's got to be so real mayonnaise, right? So you right there. Real mayonnaise, yep. Okay. Wow, Not like that looks it. delicious, Dougie. <laughs> um, have you tried any of it real quick, Doug? Have you gotten to sink your teeth into any of that meat? Is it good? We're going to do that after we finish working. So after this live shot, we sure are going to. Ah. All right. Well, take pictures. We love to see them on Twitter. And Doug, you are great. Work first, Amity. Work first. <laughs> <laughs> naturally, my friend. Naturally. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much for being out there today. Um,